Hello everyone and welcome back to a very snowy Buckland farm. It's mm, not great. However, it is currently the best time to sell our wheat. If we look on here, you can see that the wheat price has maxed out. It says 407 actually. We have 412 at the Buckland Inn. So let's see where the Buckland Inn is, inn is I should say. Aha. All right, it's up there towards the store. Excellent. I shall untag it. Uh, now that we know where it is. We've also got one or two crates outside the um, outside the greenhouse. The best play, uh, the best time to sell all that is February. So we'll be holding off on selling that until February. Uh, we do need to do a few jobs like clean out the cows. But their food is okay at the moment. Probably need to do a feed mix later. Um, so what we need... We also need to do a bit of work on stuff. So the tractor, I think, needs a bit of work doing to it. Although, did I do that already? Yes, I did that one. This one's done already, isn't it? Right. Uh, let's take this off. There we go. And we shall... Enter the tractor. Lovely. Uh, and delightful. Right. Excellent. Now we need to hook up to the bulk goods trailer, which we've got in here. Covered in mud, as you can see. I think one of the one of the jobs is going to be cleaning but we can't really do that while there's a frost on because we'll squirt it all with water then the water will freeze uh oh i did it again sorry that's better the water will freeze and unfortunately we um we will have some issues right then uh, wheat. Get it all in. We can shut the door. And when we're fully loaded up, which is now, we can head off to the inn. And we're going to sell all the wheat we have now at the inn. I hope there's room in the inn. It is late December after all. I haven't got any plans for Christmas. I don't know what we'll do. Right, nothing coming. Let's head off down here. Hmm. Maybe we should think about uh, clearing some of the roads around here with a snowplow or something. Although we can't afford one. So maybe we'll forget that idea. We don't earn any money for it either. So yes, I think we'll definitely forget that idea. Still, we're going to make some money off the wheat now. Hopefully we will make quite a bit. Uh, we'll have, I don't think we've got another full load. Gonna head off towards Blackwater. There we go. And we'll go and unload everything. Um Yeah, I don't think we've got another full load, but we might have another half a trailer load or something. That would be good. We are gonna have to make some money because we're gonna need the money for our seed when we get around to putting in seed in the spring. We need to get some... Uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to put in yet. Maybe oat seed? Potentially? I don't know. But whatever we do, we've got to wait for the snow 
to clear and the ground to defrost. Uh, it's minus two degrees at the minute, so we certainly can't do any cultivating or anything. Can't do that at all. There's the field there that we haven't done so far. And the one after it is currently a grass field, but I think we're going to be making it into an arable field. This one on the left here. Yeah, I think I want to make that into an arable field, so that will be a, another springtime job. Right, where is the inn? It's long here on the right hand side somewhere. Blackwater. Just come into view on the mini map. Here's a pig farm. And this must be it here. What's it called? Is that the Pira Inn? I don't know. I c can't read it very easily. Uh, right. I assume it's around the back here then. Yes, it looks like it. Okay. Let's get this unloaded. And then we shall go and get the other load. See how much we get for this one first. Here we are. Money's starting to go up. I am really, really hoping that all the wheat we've got takes us into plus figures. Looks like even this load might take us into plus figures. Yes, it does. Fantastic. Environmental score penalty, 192. Hmm. Must be the lack of spraying and things. Right. Oh. No, we're going to have to go out the other way. Uh, that's not ideal. Uh, I don't think there was anything behind us into the corner. No, we think we're good. We're just back round here and we can drive off out again. Right. I shall go and get our second load. And I shall see you when we know how much money we have made. Well, I was wrong. There was more wheat than I thought. And we're left now with another 4,909 litres. And I don't know what to do with it. Should I get chickens? My only concern is if the chickens eat too much and I, I'm out of wheat, I won't have anything to feed them without buying some. And that's absolutely what I don't want to do. No, let's leave chickens for now. We'll go and sell this as we've sold, sold the others. And then we'll concentrate on the cows, getting them sorted. Now, uh, I have got 8,700 in the bank. There are more 
there is more to come out the bank in terms of loan and things in fact let's just park up quickly and have a quick look at that loan uh what have we got on it we have got uh 16,661 remaining. We're certainly not going to pay that off early. Uh, we've got 10 months to go on it. And then, of course, we'll be wanting another combine. But by that point, we might be earning more money off of the milk uh, from the cows and possibly wool from the sheep if we decide the sheep are what we want to get. In fact... It might be worth going to get some sheep today. I think that might be quite lucrative, actually. Because the sheep will also breed fast. If I get a trailer load of sheep, we've got plenty of hay to feed them. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. Let's do that. We'll sell this. We'll go get some sheep. Get them all fed. Get the cows sorted. Not a lot else we can do in December. It's a very animal, animal-centric month. Is December? We have to uh, make sure all the animals are cared for with the ice and snow and everything. I do want to progress, and like I said, a bigger tractor, maybe bigger telehandler, is all on the cards. But it's going to take us a while. To save up for that especially playing on on hard mode which we are We're on hard economy trying to make it as realistic as we possibly can not an awful lot else to do in winter though that's the only thing we have got some milk, but we haven't got money to burn to buy a milk tanker at the minute. And with only 1,500 1, litres of milk in storage, it's not worth selling it yet. And I know that's that's not overly realistic, because if I keep it, it'll go bad and it's not worth selling anyway. But in the game, it's kept good for longer, and I think it would be good to wait until we've got some money from wool from the sheep possibly even from um, from selling sheep themselves if we get too many in the pen I don't know how quickly they're going to breed but it is quite quick I believe Right, let's offload this. Hopefully take us up to about 10,000. Maybe even slightly more, I'm not sure. Yes, there we go. Well, not a bad guess. £10,770. We should be able to get a decent amount of sheep for that. I'm only going to get one trailer load, because they will breed quite quickly. Um, I've forgotten where the animal market is, I think. I think it's the other side of the dealership. I'll have to check. Anyway, let's go get this trailer dropped off back at the farm. And we'll pick up our animal trailer. And we'll go from there. Well, you might, have, uh, you might be thinking. Some of you may have noticed that I'm only wearing a t-shirt. Uh, it is zero degrees outside. This tractor's heater happens to be remarkably good. But if I'm going to be getting out and wandering around doing jobs out here, then I am going to need to put on a jacket. Right. Uh, let's quickly put on a jacket. Uh, mm, that doesn't look warm enough. 
Uh, what about... Hmm. Ah, that one looks warm enough. Try another colour there. There. Lovely. Right, out we jump. Let's get that hooked up. Those hooked up. Good, good. No cows left in this overnight, was there? No, we're good. Uh, right, so it's just a case of checking where the animal do. Oh, it's down there. So we come out and turn right and then left and then right again. I remember now. Excellent. Right. Now I might get too hot in here because the uh, because of the heater. Anyway, let's head down there. Well, here we are. Uh, oh, there's lots of different cows that I'd never, never seen before. Ooh, that's interesting. Ah. Anyway, we were after sheep. Here we are. Sheep. Female, 144 pounds. Uh, how many can we fit in the trailer? I don't know. Is it 10? So if we go for nine and a ram, uh, we don't want a goat, we want a ram. There we are. There we go, 10 out of 10 in the trailer. And that didn't actually cost us very much at all. Ooh. Taking the cover off them. We get chilly. Hello, sheeps. They don't seem overly excited. Right. Let's get them tucked away. And we can make our way back to the farm. Yes, it is quite warm in here with my jacket on, but uh, never mind. I've been warm before, I'll be warm again. So. Actually, we're going to have to put the, uh, the triggers on for a second, because I do not know where the trigger is for the sheep, unfortunately. Obviously, once we've learnt it, we won't need to put the triggers on anymore, but at the moment, we do. Right. I would think that it would be down the side and into... Ah, it's not even into the field, it's just down the side there. If I back down there with the trailer, we'll be able to get the sheep out and into the field. Go and open the gate first, shall we? Suddenly had an out of body experience. I do apologize for that. And it's clear that the feed obviously goes over here in the trough. Get a couple of bales of hay or more and put them over there. Don't think there's anywhere to put it in here. Um, and I don't know if... Oh, what's that? Oh, 
sheep produce milk as well. Oh, well, that's fantastic. And this is where the wool will be too. Ah, oh, excellent. Well, that is good news. Anyway, let's get these sheep out of here before they start having a fit. on all into the field please excellent right well done all of you just shut the gate so you don't escape while i'm getting things ready and yes you can't graze at all at the moment but in the summer you'll be able to graze won't you Right, I think we'll leave this just in the shed over here because that is likely where we're going to need it next for sheep. Can't, I don't think the cows multiply as quickly as the sheep do. Right. There we go. Uh, okay, I need to go and get... Need to go and get the... Um, telehandler. And we need to both put straw and hay... Into the... Uh, into the... The pit, I think the sheep also might produce some manure on this farm, which would be absolutely wonderful. Right, we're going to do this with the bale spike and some bales. I think that would be good. And I think... I'm going to take the bales from that shed over there where we had them before. We'll do two at a time and run them over to the sheep enclosure. But yes, these could be the sheep bales. I did say that we possibly were going to sell these, but I really don't think that's a good idea because we're going to need them for sheep and or cows. Right, we'll get four bales done and then I'm going to try and put a bale of... What am I doing? Where am I going? Ah, uh, this way. Cut across the grass here. This is what we're going to turn into a little track anyway through here. Um, so yeah, we'll get four bales of hay in there. Hopefully be enough for them. And we're going to try and put some straw in as well, but we'll do it as a bale because I don't want to end up with straw all over the floor. But like on the cows, I imagine that the straw will go into the feed trough. Okay. Let's get the gate opened. Delightful. They'll probably stay in the field now because I'm bringing them some food. Eighteen thousand litres of hay here. I'm sure they will be very grateful. Why can't I drop them off? There. Excellent. Right, how much has that filled up the trough? Hardly anything at all. Well, let's go get a load more then, shall we? I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes 
I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can hide We may have a slight problem here I have got the telehandler stuck I did forget that snow also causes us to sink in the mud hmm I've been spinning my wheels too much that's the trouble right I wonder if we could use this to our advantage and try and claw ourselves out hmm possibly not Yes, it's not going well, if I'm honest. <sighs> hmm. Yes, all the sheep seem to be laughing at me. Right. Well, if there's nothing I can do about it, then there's nothing I can do about it. We'll have to abandon it there until the ground dries out. Well, at least they have got plenty of hay at the minute, 36,000 litres, which is fantastic. The productivity is going to go up. They're going to produce wool and milk, which is brilliant. And they're going to reproduce as well, which is also brilliant. Uh, so well with that stuck there there's not an awful lot left I can do on the farm except for go and close this gate hmm so I think what I'll do is absolutely nothing at all <laughs> I've got a bit of a problem Uh, yeah, because I can't even clear out the cows. 2,229 litres of manure in here. Hopefully that won't fill up. The slurry's looking good. 6,569 litres in there. wonder if I can climb up here and have a look. No, it's a bit slippery and cold. So yeah, let's climb over there. That's about us stuck for right now. But next time we will progress on to January. We may be able to get our telehandler unstuck. I really hope so. Otherwise, we're going to have to go and get a tow rope to tow it out of there with the John Deere. Oh, look at that. The snow's all melted. That happened very suddenly. Wonder what that means about the uh, the state of the state of the telehandler there. Oh, hello. The sheep can just wander out of their own own accord. Well, that's not good, is it? So, Yes, we are underground still. It says the ground is frozen. Hmm. Let's have another attempt now that the snow's gone. Very slowly moving here. Ah, and some of the grass has disappeared. Is that... Um, Is that because they've taken it into their trough or 
Oh, yes. Yeah, they have taken a bit into their trough. Not a lot, but a bit. Well, as I said before, I think we're going to end up now waiting until January. <sighs> what a pain. Still, not a lot we can do about that, I'm afraid. But we have sheep. That's something to celebrate. <laughs> there. So, delightful. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again for the next episode on Wednesday. Bye for now.